What's up everyone, this is part two of my HTML tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create multiple web pages, how to create ac acronyms, and also how to format text. And there's a few different things we can do with formatting text. Uh, and there's also a few things that I forgot to mention in the last video. Uh, one thing is that I use Notepad to edit my HTML, and I know there's some other programs out there that like co color code the text and like number the lines and all that. But I just use Notepad because it's easy, and you know I already have it. So just in case you don't have Notepad for some odd reason, as long as you have WordPad, WordPad works too, so you can use that also. Another thing is that um, all HTML tags are enclosed in a less than sign and the greater uh, greater than sign. So I'll show you the HTML tag. <laughs> Sorry, I've got some allergies. All right, so we've got a less than sign and a greater than sign. Now I'll create the body. Got to get through this kind of quick because this one I'm going to be covering a lot of stuff. All right, I'll create a heading. H1. Heading one. And right, I'll put a paragraph underneath it. Now in this paragraph, we're going to put a link to web page number two. All right. So to do that, the element for a link is a by the way an element or all HTML tags have elements but not all of them have attributes but the attribute for the link tag is or one of the attributes it can have there's usually multiple attributes so one of the attributes we can use with the link tag is href all right that stands for hyperlink reference yeah hyperlink reference equals quotes equals quotes that's very important all right We'll make it uh, page two, because this one's going to be page two, and um, the quotes, and then put the greater than sign. Remember the equal sign and the quotes are very important. All right, and I'll put a click here for page two. Pretty simple. And then I'll close off the paragraph. All right, now what I'm going to do is create a second heading. Heading number two slash h two. Whoops, gotta get that right. All right, and I'll put another paragraph underneath it. And this one, I'll put another link a h r e f equals quotes page three dot html. Sorry, forgot to do that with this one. It has to be dot html two because this is what we're gonna name our second page and third page. All right. Now I'll put click here oh, for page three. Okay. Uh, sorry, you might hear my dog barking. I don't know if you do or not, but if you do, sorry about that. Slash p. My dad's all also pulling in his motorcycle, so you might hear that too. Sorry. All right. And just to have some fun, I'll throw in a third heading. Heading three. And then I'll add a little paragraph, put some text in it, slash p. So that's a pretty simple web page. Oh, I forgot to put this right here. Got to close off the body tag. Oops, body. And then I'll close off the HTML tag. There we go. So we got a basic web page there. Now we're going to uh, save this as... Let's see, I'll go to my folder that I contain these in. I'll save it as page... Oh, why are these here? Okay, whatever. I'll save it as page one dot HTML. I think this might have to replace it. Yes. Okay, so page one. This must have been from a long time back. Okay, let's go ahead and create page two. Oh, dang it, hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to... I'm going to kind of cheat. I'll open up page one copy all this and paste it. Okay, that just makes it a lot easier. Alright, now, since this, since this is going to be page 2, I'll make this to page 1. Okay. And I'll change this. Click here for page 1. Okay. Alright. Now, uh, I'm going to save this as P. 
page two dot html. All right, and yes, I'm gonna replace this one too. Now, guess what I'm gonna do this time? I'm gonna copy it all again. Okay, new page, paste it. Just trying to get through this fast. Sorry. Okay, page one. Now, since this is page three, I'm gonna change this to page two. Now, this is a link to page two, and then change this to page two. All right. Now you know what? And this one, I'm gonna delete this heading. Okay. Here we go. Just make it a little different. I'll save that as page three dot html. Replace that one too. All right. Now let's check this out. Go to my files. Open up page one. And it'll open it up in my browser. All right. Uh, see, there's this heading. Uh, first heading. Then there's a paragraph with a link to page two. Paragraph with a link to page three with another heading on it. I see how the headings get smaller as you go down. Yeah, that's just the way that works. And then there's this random paragraph that I put in here. So I'll go to page two. See how that works? Now I'm on page two. You can check up here. It also says page two. All right. Let's go back to page one. See how it changes to page one. Now page three it changes to page three. And page one. So that's how that works. We've got multiple pages. That's pretty cool. Uh, you know what? I'm going to open up page one. And with that third paragraph, this time I'm going to show you how to format text. And there's different ways of formatting it. Or this is one of the ways. There's uh, three different tags you can use to format text. To make it bold, you use the B tag. All right, And this is very simple to remember. B stands for bold. You use slash B as the ending tag. Italics is the I tag. I for italics. And then uh, what is left? Underline. U. Yeah, U for underline. B for bold. I for italics. U for underline. That is very easy to remember. Alright, so that's how that works. All right, and then all of their closing tags too. So I'll go to this one, and how about I make these first few letters bold? I'll close it right here. Right in front of the semicolon. Alright, now I'll make these italics. Alright, slash I. I'm gonna make this last little bit, or half of this last little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna make it all underlined. There we go. Alright, I'll save that. And uh, you know what? Let's go to page two now. I'm going to show you something else you can do with these. Oh, by the way, uh, if your documents aren't showing up whenever you go to your documents library, uh, make sure that you have all files selected underneath this drop down menu, not text documents. Make sure you have all files. Alright. Let's go to page two. Open that up. Now, for this entire paragraph, Let's do a combination of all three formatting objects, or formatting elements. We'll make it bold, we'll italicize it, and we'll underline it. See that? B-I-U. And then, uh, you kind of want to keep the tags with the closing tags symmetrical. Alright, so see how U is closest? Let me put slash U first. Then I'll put slash I, and slash B. Alright, B-I-U, and then U-I-B. Make sure you have the slashes. Alright, close that off. Open the, or not open, uh, gonna save this. There we go. Now let's open it up in our, uh, browser. I'll refresh the page. See this? This third heading? It was just regular words and text. Uh, but see how we made these first few bold, and then italics, and then underlined? Now look at this. Remember we went to page two and edited that? Now it's bold, italics, and it's underlined. So that's a combination of all three right there. Okay, now you know what? Uh, let's go to page three. Of all files selected. Page three. Let's add another heading right here. H3. Heading three. Slash H3. Close that off. Alright, now let's go to the paragraph thing. Okay. So we went over multiple web pages. I taught you how to format text. And now we're going to try out some acronyms. So 
I'm going to type in be here ASAP and as most of you know or all of you should know ASAP stands for as soon as possible so to create that acronym I'll show you how this works too but this one's also very easy this tag the element is simply acronym so you get the less than sign then acronym and then the attribute is title equals quotes you can see kind of see a pattern here usually with the with the attribute it has uh, the attribute itself and then equals and then whatever it is in quotes it's uh, pretty easy to remember title is as soon as possible all right see that and I'll close that off right, slash acronym so that closes that and that's how that works and I'll show you how this uh, shows up in the actual document let's go to page 3 I see this be here ASAP I see how it's uh, underlined in the dotted underline uh, whenever you roll over it and you hold it there for a second it shows up as soon as possible see that that's what I typed in it's pretty neat alright so that's how that works uh, so that is multiple web pages, formatting, and acronyms, which are pretty fun. Uh, one more thing that I want to show you, though. Sorry, this is getting pretty long. Put this in this one. Actually, let's go to page three. Uh, one. All right. I'm gonna just add a few words here. Words, words, words. All right. So we got some words. All right. Actually, I'll make a whole new paragraph for these words. All right. And then I'll close this off. Okay. So I got a paragraph. Another or a second paragraph. Okay. Now this, I'm going to show you bidirectional override, which is how you can make text appear backwards. And the element for that is B D O. BDO stands for bidirectional override. Okay, and then the L or the no the element is BDO. The attribute is DIR, which stands for direction. That's easy to remember. And then equals quotes again. See, usually with the attributes it has the equals and the quotes. And uh, let's put RTL, which you know you can probably guess what that stands for. It's right to left. All right. BDO direction equals right to left. Slash BDO. Try try to hurry through this. Save this. Open it up in our Firefox. Or I use Firefox. Whatever browser you use, it'll work. Alright, now see this? I added that page or that paragraph. It says words, 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 backwards. See that? So we went over multiple web pages, formatting, acronyms, and also bidirectional override to make text appear backwards. So if you want, want to like type a word backwards in the actual coding and then make the bidirectional override right to left, it'll show it up right. You know, have, have a little bit of fun with that. Alright, so this has been part two of my HTML tutorial series. Keep checking back for part three. Thanks for watching.